by the 1980s, music was about to change again from the beat up. Only this time, it was the lack of a drummer that was so significant. Technology has come to percussion instruments. This is a drum kit, do you believe? Snare drum, tom-tom, another tom-tom, cymbal. And on this, you can produce solos like this. All of a sudden, new technology made the drum kit and the drummer redundant. This was the era of the drum machine. <laughs> and one man was responsible for the whole thing. Roger Lynn. <laughs> His pioneering drum machines provided the pulse of many of the era's biggest hits. It is fair to say that to many drummers, Mr. Lynn is Beelzebub himself. Good afternoon, Mr. Lynn. Are you here plotting the demise of another instrumentalist, putting another musician out of work? I'm trying my best. Just kidding. <laughs> Let me ask you, what's your problem with drummers? Why have you spent your life creating an electronic drummer? Have drummers stepped on your toes, stolen your girlfriend, that <laughs> you hated it when they sped up? Why have you created this drum to put living, breathing humans out of work? What in inspired me to try and make these drum machines is I was a guitar player, so I could play guitar. And of course, like all guitar players, I thought I could play bass. That's, mm -hmm. that's easy. You yeah, just don't yeah. play the two higher strings. Yeah. And then I had a little bit of keyboards and such. But the thing that was always the hardest to play and to record was the drums. Uh, and so I wanted to be able to make my songwriting demos or my own little productions at home. So this here, with all of its complexity, was made as a rehearsal device. This You never had... You didn't design this to be heard on a record. You designed it just to, as a rehearsal aid. Where were you sitting or driving when you're listening to the radio? And you're like, whoa, that's, that's, that's my box. First one I remember that being a, a, a very popular uh, hit record was Human League. It was a marvelous feeling for me because I felt like I was uh, on the playing on the records. Because as a guitar player, you know, a lot of the uh, big artists who I would have loved to have gotten uh, uh, auditions with, uh, I wasn't good enough. And yeah. so this is my way of getting on the record. There actually is some poetry there that it was a guitarist who created this demonic instrument. <laughs> you know, as we hit this drum here. Do you want me, baby? But you gotta have that hairdo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it immediately does evoke that period. Yeah, that's true, yeah.